So yesterday I went out and picked up this here little buggy, the Hammerhead Twister. It is a... Uh, Welcome back to part nine of the Hammerhead Rebuild. Today we get this thing running. Let's finish it up. So, I don't have the throttle cable hooked up yet, but I got everything else ready to go. Let's see if this thing starts pretty easy or if it's rough. switch wire to the key so it shuts off at the key so no push button nothing you just shut it off like a normal car all right let's get this clutch put on here get the chain on and take this thing for a ramp went ahead and got the master cylinder all blood up brakes are working good so now we're going to move on to the reverse box I'm gonna clean up this wiring obviously I still made a mess out of everything but i put a new plug on it and a new cdi box uh, as you can see right here i'm gonna go ahead and get all these wires cleaned up and in some loom and tucked away then we'll go ahead and put on our reverse box get that chain in there get the shifter set up put the e-brake back in there uh, so i was able to get the clutch reverse box off and uh the guy i purchased it from said the his uh, hammerhead quit running, quit moving. It would start, it would go into gear, it would spin, but it wouldn't move. Well, here's your issue. Uh, your gear, drive gear, goes on here. You busted all the bolts off, buddy. So I'm gonna back all these little chunks of what's left of a bolt out. Uh, they kind of move still already, but I'm gonna back those all out, put some new ones in, put this thing back together, get her greased up, and. Pop it on the hammerhead, see if we can get this one to move. So one of the final issues I'm running into that I gotta get fixed today is this collar right here. See this set screw? That set screw right there is all sorts of stripped out. I can't get that thing loose to save my life and without getting that loose, I can't take it off to replace this cable. This cable that's on here is from the 2012 that I have out there and the 2012 has the shifter up on the dash. And this one has it on the floor so I have like a eight foot cable on this and the other one that's supposed to go on here is about a four foot right there so I'm gonna go ahead and try and drill that out and put a new set screw in it there was another one on the other side that's already taken out but I got to drill that out so I can get the cable off and put the correct cable on so we end up with reverse we do have forward and I got uh, I got one turn signal working. So we're going to get all these things buttoned up here on part nine. And then we're going to roll this baby out and take you for a ride. All right. I was able to drill out the set screw in here and get to the cable. So if you're playing around with one of these, this cable to remove it, see that little ball right there. You pull up on this. Bang. We're free. Now I can pull out this old, dang, autofocus ain't working. There we go. I can pull out this old cable and put my new one in. And then we'll get this baby put back in with a new set screw. We'll be good to go. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. So I got a bigger battery and I'm just kind of rigging up a little, little, uh, mount for this thing. I got a uh, traveler hold down kit that I'm going to use to put this on with. See this little uh, hook right here? I went ahead and bent, bent this so it'll go around that and that will go up over the battery. There's a hole over here and I'm going to go ahead and hook onto there and put it on the other side. So let's see how this works. 
So here's the final product, the final result. See the strap goes up over the top of the battery. I got it bent there, and then I got it hooked down there to connect up to that side. So if you want to run a bigger battery, you can just, I put a piece of plate as you saw on the bottom and then put these straps around it. So here it is, finally, we are done. 100%, well, 99.9, .9. I gotta put the <laughs> passenger side belts in, but uh, yeah, got the old race belts in there. Got everything buttoned up, got our shifters back in, forward and reverse work as you saw. Got some sticker action done. Put some new LED headlights on the front, thanks to Joel, thank you buddy. Final product, this baby is going up for sale. If you would like to uh, check it out, hop on offer up. It's gonna be up for $2,500. And if you mention that you saw this video, I will give you $200 off just because you saw this video and that's where you got your interest in purchasing this awesome cart. Oh yeah, she's ready. And we got tail lights. Let me uh, set this up so you can see how this works. Brake lights. Then I got these set up for running lights. Pretty awesome LED setup. Well, it's time. Let's take this little bad boy for a rip. Thanks to all of you who've watched all nine of these. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I've had a whole bunch of stuff that got in the way, but I uh, finally got time and was able to finish this bad boy up. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one. Not sure what we're building next, but it should be fun. See ya.